these voices fill the night. Hearts warming, Eve is here once again. Come on, every creature, sing! La 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 Not every creature celebrates the same way, you know. Yeah, dragons don't do pony holidays. Sure we do. I love Heartswarming Eve. It's all about friends and presents and family and presents. It's also about putting aside differences to come together, like the Earth Ponies, Pegasi, and Unicorns did on the first holiday. Oh, is that why you put their fire of friendship on top of the tree to help us remember their unity? And because it looks cool. This is my favorite day of the year! <laughs> Not that I don't like the other ones. Tuesdays are great! You ought to like any day that has started winter break! Two whole weeks without classes. How will Ocella survive? <laughs> I think you'll all enjoy the time off to be home with your families, to celebrate your own traditions. Attention, every creature. School is officially out. Happy holidays, and we'll see you after the break. <laughs> and for those of you traveling outside Equestria... Yeah, shouldn't you guys be getting ready to go? If you miss that train, it's a really long walk. Go pack up, and we'll take you to the station. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's that new bow tie I wanted, isn't it? You'll have to wait and see. I'm waiting, but in the meantime, I'm shaking. come in here? Well, yeah. All of us did. To pack? Like you told us to? After that! Did you hear anything? Uh-uh. What's up? Donut and packing! Is something wrong? The back door's locked! No way out! But whoever did it had to have come in here. We saw them. Whoever did what? Whoa. That is so not cool. And whoever did it ran into your rooms. No one came out, and all of you are still here. One of you must have done this! But why would any of you want to sabotage Heart's Warming Eve? Uh, uh, no, 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 it's me. Uh, yes, not do this! Yona offended by accusation! We don't know what happened. Maybe this wasn't even on purpose. But I want to give whoever caused this mess a chance to tell the truth and explain themselves. I'll make it easy for you. Close your eyes. Now, if you did this, raise your hoof or claw or whatever. <sighs> Come on, Spike. Looks like we have to... 
Spike, you can open your eyes. What? Oh, uh, what about me? You all can. <laughs> but since no creature took responsibility for this mess, you're all going to have to help clean it up before we can go home. Oh, oh, no. No. Why do I have to stay? Oh, but the holidays! While you're cleaning, we'll bring you into my office one at a time. Since honesty is one of the elements of harmony, we want to give you each a chance to tell us the truth. And once we find out who did it, just you wait. We're gonna... we'll... What are we gonna do exactly? <sighs> the guilty party won't be going home over heartswarming break. She or he will stay here for some one-on-one -on -one friendship lessons. But what if none of us confesses? Then... <sighs> I guess there's no holidays for any creature. You'll all stay over the break. <gasps> all right, let's get to the bottom of this. Who wants to be interviewed first? Uh, I'll go. Beats mop duty. Hey, I know! We can make a game out of this! See who finishes cleaning up? Let's save time and cut to the chase. Which one of you did it? I would never do something this horrible. I love Heart Swarming Eve, and I do not want to miss going home for it. Huh. I didn't even know Changeling celebrated Heart Swarming. Oh, yes. It's our favorite holiday. Well, since Hedmer Twilight shared it with us last year, she gave our hive very clear instructions. <clears throat> Welcome to the traditions and fun of heart swarming. Here's a guide to help you enjoy the celebration of pony history. Families start the holidays by putting the tree up. Thirsty? Dive into some holiday punch. <laughs> Just before bed, every pony exchanges gifts. It doesn't say how long we keep doing this. And to finish celebrating, you can build a fire, light it up, and sing carols. Carols, 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 carols! <laughs> <laughs> You might have misunderstood things just a little. Eh, we may not have done everything exactly the way you do, but we made our own traditions, and I can't wait to do it all again this year. If we ever get out of here. Acellus, your turn. What happened? What do you think happened? I told her I didn't do it. How do you celebrate heart swarming in Yak Yakistan, Yona? Yaks do not. Our holiday, much better, is called Snildark Fest. Night before, Yaks gather things to smash and put them in big pile. Then, in morning, we smash them. In afternoon, we smash them again. In evening. So it's just about smashing stuff, like all your other holidays. No, how Griffin get that idea? This holiday about so much more. Last year, for example, most perfect Snildar ever. Whole family, Grandpa, Grandma, yeah. Yona's brother, sister, mother, father, yeah. All go to woods, singing yak song. Yak song, yak song, a very long sing again. Yak song, yak song, a very long sing again. Yak song, yak song, a very long sing again. Pick a perfect smashing log. Then yak smash it! <laughs> then yak family build perfect snow fort. It's ratchet! Then we hang perfect things on perfect moss pile and you smash it! What do you think yaks are? Barbarians? Moss Pile is for special family rituals. 
rituals. Last year, ritual for Yona. All Yak family gather around Yona. And braid Yona hair for first time. So, to recap, your holiday is about smashing things and family. Two most perfect things ever put together. Happy Snildar Fest! <laughs> Happy Snildar to you too, Yona! It's so cool to learn new traditions from new friends! Yeah, well, one of these new friends has gotten us all in trouble, and they better confess soon. Sambar? Sorry, but they said they want you to go in next. Why the rush to get home, Smolder? Like you said, dragons don't really have holidays. Do they? Me. <gasps> That's so sad. You must do something in the winter for fun. Well, we do have the Feast of Fire. Every dragon gets together and tells stories. The best one wins a pile of gemstones. Ooh, what story won last year? It was called A Dream Come True. Come on, now you've got to tell it! Ah, uh, fine. Once upon a time, there was this sad little dragon. Her name was Scales. She lived alone in the wilderness with nothing to eat. But one night, as she sat alone in the storm, she heard something. It was the Dragon Lord! Scales was scared, but the Dragon Lord told her not to be afraid, that he was taking her to the Dragonlands for a great feast. Scales sat with the Dragon Lord's family and friends and had the biggest, best dinner of gemstones she ever eaten. Then, while the dragons were telling stories, Scales thought it would be so easy to seize power from this feeble and sensitive dragon lord. She saw her chance and took it. She claimed the Bloodstone Scepter and took over the dragon lands. <laughs> and forced the dragon lord to live out in the cold, just as she used to. That's a horrible story. Maybe to you, but dragons like hearing about weak, kind creatures getting defeated. Silver Street, you're up. Let's go. So, did you tell him you did it? What? No way. Why would I say that? You already live in Ponyville. Staying here over break is no big deal. School of Friendship, good place for Pony to have Pony Holiday. I'd still rather spend it with my family at home. Oh, that reminds me. I have the best holiday story ever. It's called The Day My Heart's Warming Doll Almost Fell Into the Fire. Oh. Just before we went to bed, my mom, my dad, and my sister all put our heart's warming dolls up on the mantle, just like we do every year. But this year, I put my doll too close to the edge, and it fell. <laughs> My doll hit the floor, but it could have gone in the fire. That's a great story, and you told it really well. Yeah, it was a heartwarming miracle. Next! Smolder, come with me. Yona, Twilight's waiting for you. The last two, so if neither one of them confesses, that means we're never going home! We'll be here forever! Beyond forever! But I can't miss the three days of freedom celebration! How long does that last? It used to be only one day, but now, to commemorate our escape from the Storm King, we're adding two more days of awesome! See? There's a book? Mm-hmm. Queen Novo had these made for the Mount Eris Board of Tourism to explain it all to guests. <laughs> We'll spend the first night in Sequestria, thanking the ocean for protecting us from the Storm King. Sea dancing, whale singing, shell stringing, lots of things. The second day will be on Mount Eris. 
with sky dancing and a wind song in the harmonizing heights to celebrate the Storm King's defeat. Then the third day, every creature will party together on land and sea. Grandparents and parents and sisters, uncles, brothers, acquaintances, neighbors, and cousins. And at the end of the night, Queen Nova is going to give out presents. Wait, hold on. C cousins? What are those? Your aunts and uncles children? You know, part of your family. <laughs> Oh, you're teasing us again, right? I'm guessing neither one of you confessed. <gasps> and their Twilight say wait here. Maybe they're changing their minds about sending us home. Why would they? Face it, we're stuck here. But, but, but I have to go home. My mom makes the best kelp fritters. How can you be so cool about this? We're mad. We just show it differently. More like you don't show it at all. What pony getting at? Maybe it wasn't just one prankster. Maybe there were three of you. And you're trying to hide your guilt by not being upset. It does make sense. Guys, stop it. Or maybe whoever did it is only pretending to be upset to throw us off. Me? But I didn't! Come on, let it go. Come on! Ocellus, you know you did it. Just mess up! I said stop fighting! That's not what the holidays are about! No matter what you call them, or how you celebrate. Do, do you know how lucky you all are? With your stories about sharing and, and kindness and getting together with every creature that you care about? But griffins do that too, don't they? Some holiday about a moon? <sighs> Blue Moon Festival. The one time of year when griffins are nice to each other. Well, as nice as we can be. Families get together to eat and then complain about the food and give each other presents they don't like and mostly just try not to yell at each other. Well, at least you get to be with your family. No, because I don't have a family. What about Grandpa Gruff? That's just his name. He's not any Griff's actual grandpa. I felt like I never had a place in Griffinstone. And I came here and, well, met all of you. So I don't want to go home for the break. And that's why I did it. <gasps> Griffin messed up decorations? Yeah, it was me. I put goo powder in the fire of friendship. <gasps> so it wasn't a Celis? Why would you ruin things for us? I didn't plan to. I just figured if I made a mess, our teachers would make us stay to clean up. We'd be together a little longer. Well, it worked, didn't it? Better than I thought. When Head Mayor Twilight threatened to cancel winter break, that meant I would get to be with all of you through the entire holiday. That's why I didn't confess. So why are you admitting this now? I hated seeing all you fighting and, and blaming each other. That's the opposite of what all your holidays mean. Except maybe yours, Smolder. I can't keep all of you from the happiness of your homes and families just because I feel bad. I'm sorry. Don't worry, you won't have to tell our teachers. I will. You don't have to. We already know. We kinda guessed it was you, but we wanted to give you the chance to tell the truth. I'm proud that you did, and I'm glad to see you've been paying attention in Professor Applejack's honesty classes. But you're still gonna have to make amends and stay over break for extra friendship lessons by yourself. I'll stay with him. Me too. Yona, stay also! I'm staying! What? All right. I guess pony holidays can't be that bad. Now you can finally know what it's like to spend hearts warming with friends who care about you. Looks like they don't really need any extra lessons. Since you obviously know that hearts warming is about coming together, I'd be honored if all of you would join my friends as guests at our holiday table. <laughs> After we finish cleaning up. Hey, 
This reminds me of another story. The time I almost spilled grape juice on the white couch. Does it have a depressing ending? I'm not sure pony stories work that way. Um, Gallus want Yona braid feathers? Uh, pass. Heartwarming! Yeah!